In this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can actually turn your mouse into basically its own VTuber controller. So if you are a VTuber who has no webcam, no iPhone, no Android, no VR tracker, and no mocap suit, you have nothing, absolutely nothing, well I got some good news for you. There's actually a way you can utilize your mouse to make your VTuber avatar move around. And I'll definitely, um, I definitely will say it should be pretty simple. So in the description below, there is a graph. Um, so first and foremost, there are two versions of the mouse graph. So there is my edit and then there's Niall. Niall is the original person who made the graph. Uh, basically what my version of the edit does is that there's a toggle so sometimes I may want to test out certain like physics on my model so I edited the graph to have a toggle step but if you want it where no matter what you do uh, the mouse will be on by default and it's basically enforced um, basically Niles graph would definitely be highly recommended to use depending on which is your preference so I'll leave um, my download for the graph but there's also Niles graph as well I'll leave a screenshot right here uh, you're gonna have to join Suvidrell's Discord server in order to get it though. So join Suvi's Discord server and basically you'll search up the exact terms on the screenshot and that's basically where you'll be able to download either my edit or Niall's original graph so that way you can have your character being controlled with the, the mouse basically. So um, without further ado, I'll go ahead and turn off my tracking real quickly. And I'm gonna go into settings real quick and I'm, I'm me personally I'm going to disable my uh, tracking here so let me just do that that way there's nothing so first and foremost uh, I will mention if you absolutely have no tracking at all like no tracking device at all you if you have a microphone you can actually be able to utilize uh, Vinyan's lip sync input so that way you can actually be able to let's say talk into the microphone so that way your mouse can move at least. There's also, by the way, as well, um, a graph in the newest version of Vinyan. It's in the example folder, um, but there's also another alternative graph. I'll leave another screenshot of where you can get the auto blink graph from. Um, so there will be the version that does um, auto blink if you look down and then another version where if you want to um, have it where it auto blinks regardless no matter what um then there is suvid drill's discord server you could join and get the graph there there should of course be screenshot to show where you can get the exact um the exact exact uh node for it so that way you can have lip sync to move your mouse and then auto blink um if you have no tracking at all now what you're going to do is you're going to go into the node graph here and you're going to basically go over here and you're going to add new graph and then once you download it, either my edit or Niall's uh, graph, you're going to basically click on load here. And again, I will mention if you have no idea any part of the UI of Vinyan, please check out my other tutorials as they go over the Vinyan UI. So basically, once you are, uh, you know, once you load the graph, which my case, mine is actually somewhere in here basically. So cursor look, this is basically my edit of the graph. It'll have basically a duplicate of this section but for reset um but for your case you if you use Niles graph there's going to be a you know just this part here which is much more simpler to use basically for my case I use a WebSocket command but you may want to use hotkey so basically you can use a hotkey right click to remove it uh and then you can have it where you can click and drag um the yellow here so that way it can be um, use instead basically but I for my case I will use my stream deck for WebSocket if you're curious on how to do stream deck stuff uh, with Vinyan you can I have another tutorial dedicated to that but for this case if you want to have it just hotkey you can or if you want it where again if you um, rely on the mouse and you want it to be on every time you turn on Vinyan then go into the callback nodes and load in the node called application start and then basically just connect these two greens uh, with the yellow, so connect basically. Um, that way no matter what you do, like uh, when you start Vinyan up, it will load this graph. So that way by default it will load the mouse cursor. So basically just to show you how it looks like. 
I will press on this and basically um, wherever my mouse is, it moves my character. Like I said, this is definitely recommended for someone who doesn't even have any tracking device at all. As long as you have like a pretty decent computer. Now of course if you don't have a computer, well, um, I actually don't know what to do for that actually sadly. So yeah, if you have no device at all. I, I, I don't know, sadly. Um, you could probably use Virtue iOS if you have an iPhone, but sadly, Virtue Android has been discontinued and probably and never coming back, so um, I don't know what you can do r regarding that. You'll probably have to get like a live 2D mall and use VTube Studio Android if you want to VTube on a phone. Um, unless you, uh, unless you're one of the lucky people who are able to download Virtue Android, but either way, um, at least, pretty much, if you want to have the look cursor to basically be your controller, you can have the lip sync, and then, of course, the auto blink, um, graph that you can load into Vina, which, again, it's pretty much just add graph, load it, and it should work. Um, I'll also make a dedicated tutorial showing, um, how to get the auto blink stuff set up, but basically, I just want to at least elaborate that, so yeah. Now, um, last but not least, though, you can, um, let's see here, so... You could also uh, do some adjustments, so let's say if you want to limit your, I guess, limit where the mouse is going or something like that, or you want to make your movement faster, I guess, I'm not sure. You could uh, edit these, um, this little area here, that way you can change the pixel on how far your mouse will be. So like, let's say if you want your mouse to be like in a very specific area, uh, or like the character will, the character will like, um, react faster or something, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, or it could be limited. You can basically, like, input, uh, the number that you want for pixels, basically. So, yeah. So there's that, basically. Um, I'll leave it as a default, though, but you can change- this is basically what will adjust the pixels, so it depends on your computer. If your computer is, like, 4K resolution, you could change it to a 4K resolution or something like that. Or increase the resolution and all that. It really depends. Um, you can also definitely mess around with these other things as well. Um, primarily, you can mess with these like values here if you want to change how much the rotation moves and all that. So yeah. Um, I won't go over too much as I am, I myself, I'm not really a master when it comes to the lerp node, but from what I've tested though, I pretty much just mess around with the numbers here for the most part. And that's pretty much how I can be able to adjust like how far my head can move and all that. So yeah, you can mess with these though. But for the most part though, the default value should be fine. And also if by any chance for some reason that your the node is not working for you at all, it's because it relies on object rotation. So uh, make sure, like by default it should work with a Void model, but if not, um, then if by chance, you know, if you know your bone names, then make sure to rename these to whatever your bone name is and it should work accordingly. Uh, even for eyes and even for root bone. If your model has a root bone, name it. Otherwise, if it's not root bone, you could name this as your hip bone instead if it doesn't work. So just keep that in mind uh, in case you're going to edit it. But yeah, for the most part, that's pretty much um, if, case, if it doesn't work. You know, rename these. Otherwise, if it still doesn't work, join Superdrill's Discord server and report the issue, and someone will gladly help you out on this. You could ask me for assistance, but I would recommend join Superdrill's Discord server as you can learn so much more about Vinyan and even get a lot of um, cool assets to use with Vinyan, basically. So, yeah. But even then, though, uh, that should be pretty much it regarding the whole mouse cursor and pretty much. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, an alternative to VTubing without um, any tracking device at all and just using the control of your mouse. So this is a good alternative, um, but yeah. Either way though, I hope that this tutorial helps. Oh yeah, and also if you are using my modified version of the graph, basically, I can actually, um, I basically have it set up here. You could change this to be hotkey. Um, but I have mine as WebSocket, but you can change the hotkey for keyboard. And basically you can have it where it'll be disabled. It'll basically actually reset the position properly, so it'll be reset to zero. And then I can press on the button again to kind of like toggle it on and off basically. So yeah, that's if you're using the modified version. If you're using Niles, you won't have that option, but again, it really just depends on your preference on the setup, but yeah. 
But either way, though, I hope that this will help you out on utilizing the mouse as basically your tracker. But again, you don't even, um, you can still have it where you have tracking. So I'll go ahead and set up my iPhone real quick. And then, one second. I'll go ahead and the tracking layers and disable or enable my um, iPhone. And you can actually still have it where um, even with your tracking on, I guess if you really want to, you can have it where it'll still work regardless. So I guess if you really want to, you can do this basically. So yeah. Woo! So yeah. But either way, um, depending on what you want. That's pretty much how you do it with the whole mouse cursor thing. Thank you, Niall, for making the graph, though. And, um, I hope that this tutorial will help you out on the whole mouse stuff, basically. And, yeah, um, if you have any other questions, I'll leave my socials here. But, yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!